morning everybody welcome back to the smallville farmer today is going to be the last day of 2023 wheat harvest God, i haven't been this excited in a long time i this is the worst harvest on record and um beyond excited to get done but of course the last 25 30 acres we got to cut blaine was cutting last night and shredded my belts on my feeder house so i called case h dealership this morning spoke to greg I'm headed to there right now to go get these new belts so I can finish the last 25 acres. Go figure. Then we'll go get it put on the feeder house, get this whole dadgum harvest done, and then we'll go home tonight and crack open a cold one, boys. So, on our way to Case IH to go spend some money. I actually just put a down payment on that 8250 Case IH Combine over there, boys. Just joking. No, I did not. Um, I don't even think I could uh, afford to paint on that. <laughs> I could barely afford the new belt I got. <laughs> anyway, huge shout out to Case IH and Greg for being open uh, to, to give me this part. This, this is great. Now I can finish the last 30 acres I've got today. So, Head out to the farm. We'll slap on this new belt and get going today, boys. Good night. I freaking let Blaine run this combine for what? I don't even know. 20 acres. And he destroys it. Ah, dang it. Thanks, Blaine. Oh, that's gonna be good and tight. Okay, that goes. It should go under. Okay, so that's gotta go under there. Come on, Mike. Okay, that goes under there. For the actual tensioner. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you about got the belt, look who finally decides to show up. There's Blaine. Thanks, Blaine. Now we finally got everything put back together. And uh, we're gonna kick everything on here. See if this is gonna work just to get us the last 25, 30 acres. You ready? All right, successful test. Let's go cut some wheat now. I absolutely hate driving through these gates because it is tighter than a tick's butt. Let me tell you that right now. It sucks. Are we about full yet, Blaine? No, not even close. It's about full of harvest. Right? Yeah, I know. This is terrible. I'm about ready to quit farming and get a real job. I'm, I'm about ready to quit my job and get farming. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna let Blaine cut. Because my wife brought me some dinner. Basically, what we're doing out here is we're just cutting around all this crab grass crap. It's so bad. Well, are you guys uh, glad harvest is about over? Yes, because nothing's gone right. <laughs> it's been, today it sucked. Today it's been terrible. But Blaine's coming back, so we'll go swap Blaine out. Blaine can eat. I won't tell you where we're going to eat from because uh, they didn't sponsor me, but it hit the spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even joking. This right here is probably the best crabgrass I've ever seen on this field. And by far the worst wheat crop I've ever seen. Would you agree, babe? Yeah. Yeah, and you've only been farming two and a half, three years. Yeah. 
You can't see no wheat. Yeah, I know. Good thing we got crop insurance, right? Looks like our belts are still holding, so that's a plus. I wonder if he's got a bean full. I highly doubt it. I don't even know what to cut out here. Well, there's a little bit. There's a little bit. Come this way. I don't know. I've never cut wheat like this before. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, that's going to do it for the old crabgrass field. Holy cow, we got a bin full off of. I don't know what this is, 25 acres, 30 acres, so that did terrible. <laughs> We're gonna get this unloaded, and uh, Chelsea and Blaine and the girls are gonna get this load hauled in Yay. and uh, see how many bushels we got off of 100 acres. <laughs> I interrupt this program to bring you a very important message. Uh, it, it's always nice to hear good things from, from people. And uh, I, I received this letter today officially from the co-op. And it's from one of the employees named Mark. And he's been a subscriber ever since I started. And it basically goes on to say, you know, you've been doing a good job. I appreciate watching your channel. You, you, it's fun. I enjoy it. Thanks for doing a good job. Keep up the good work. So anyway, thank you, Mark. I really appreciate your letter. And uh, th th thanks for just uh, tuning in and supporting the show. Really appreciate it. Red. 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 Oh, 
Popsicle. You don't get one. There. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, wasn't it better riding in the truck than the damn combine down the road? What a good looking harvest crew. You got a 1973 1480 combine. You got a 1964 grain truck. What year's your truck, bub? You got a 1986 white semi with a thousand bushel grain trailer on the back. <laughs> And a 1994 F-350 service, service truck. Oh, service truck. That's right, boys. Now we're shuffling vehicles. Look at where the whole Smallville Farmer crew is just packed in here. <laughs> so that is going to conclude the 2023 wheat harvest. Man, that sucked. That was terrible, right? I want to get in the combine. You want to get? Well, you were in the combine yesterday. <laughs> Blaine, wasn't that the worst wheat you've ever cut? I still gotta finish. Oh yeah, uh, you got <laughs> 10 acres. Dang, Katie, you all right? <coughs> that's some that's some good wheat. That's what that I was. That stuff. I have a red tongue. That's right. Anyway, everybody, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support, the comments. Uh, again, if you enjoy this channel, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye.